Hello everybody, welcome to Offbook 3.0. Steve here, and I'd like to talk you through the new user interface uh, and how things work. Alright, this is going to be a little different from my current users, so hang on. But new users, I think this will make a lot more sense than the, pre the way it worked previously. Alright, new users, when you first come to the app, you will notice that the screen will be blank. Current users, your works, scenes, characters, and lines will still be there. Just be a little bit different the way you access them. Rehearsing them will be pretty much the same as it was before, but I'll go through the whole thing. Okay, guys, the way this app is set up is, it's, is, is basically works, scenes, characters, and lines. Uh, you create works, um, as you see here on the screen. You create scenes, characters, and you record lines, and then you rehearse them. Let me take you through it. The way that I do it most of the time is to create a new work. We'll start there. I hit the plus sign here. And I title the work. I'm going to call it Spamalot, because I am a huge Monty Python fan. Then I hit edit the cast of characters. Page one of the script, right? We've got our cast list here. I'm going to add them all. Start with Arthur. And then maybe I'll add Lancelot. And then Galahad. Whoop. And then the Knee Knight. Let's see if the spell checker likes this. Nope, it doesn't. The Knee Knight. All right. There we go. The next thing you want to do is add your scenes. So hit the back here and click this next button, Edit Scenes. Now you see here it's got the same kind of a screen. We're going to make two scenes, the castle. And they're going to make another one called the meadow. All right. After I'm done adding all the scenes, the next thing I do, and you might do this in a different order. You might you know, add these scenes and then add the characters to the scene and then go to the next scene. That probably actually makes more sense but I'm pretty much uh, putting this in a box here. All right, so you then click on a scene, like the castle, and you select which characters that are in that scene. This will become more apparent why you want to do this now and not when you come to the Lines tab, have everybody available for the scene. And it's going to make it much easier on you. So let's say in the castle scene, I've got Arthur, Galahad, and Lancelot. All right, they are now assigned to the scene. The next thing you would do is you'd go through every other scene and add you know, assign all the different characters to the scene. But I'm not going to assign any characters to the meadow just yet because I'd like to show you something. When you come over to your Lines tab and you're ready to record lines, you select a work. I'm going to look down for Spamalot, which is here. And you'll notice the castle scene is here, but the meadow scene is not. The meadow scene is not here because we did not assign any cast members to it, excuse me, any characters to it. We assigned characters to the castle, but not to the meadow. So if you're ever wondering why when you pick a work you don't see anything here, a work needs to have a scene, at least one, and at least to ha it needs to have at least one character assigned to that scene for it to be uh, able to be picked to uh, record lines. So let's say I come back to works here, go back to the meadow, and in the meadow I'm going to put Arthur and the Knee Knight. I come back. Whoop, go back to lines. Now the meadow is available. All right. So let's say I want to record some lines. I've chosen spam a lot. I've chosen the castle. I hit the check mark there. And then you've got a blank sheet of lines. I'm going to hit the plus sign here. And I get to the record lines tab. 